So we got this question from our buddy Christian, who um, he, in his work environment, there's a, there's a woman, there's a girl, and he, they switch shifts. So basically she comes in in the morning around seven, he's on his way out, but they sit and they chat for about 20, 30 minutes. And they've been doing this for several months and the chats just keep getting warmer and warmer. And she giggles and he tells a joke and they're flirting. And Christian is feeling as if like, you know, we're kind of falling in love here, but it's really awkward because she has a boyfriend, right? And one of the conversations that starts coming up, right? Now, now I'm starting to teach you the lesson, right? Because that was the situation. You guys are all cuddly and cozy with each other. You see each other for 20 minutes a day, and then you go about your day. But the conversation, whenever the conversation with a woman goes towards what her current relationship is like and how she's dissatisfied, a red flag should go up because that is a very poor taste and is an indication of character weakness. And that being said, it's usually a fucking trap. Now, I'm not saying she's a bad woman or that relationship with her is going to be a trap, but what she's doing is she's creating a situation that is appealing to all men no matter what. And that is damsel in distress. Oh, oh, a dragon has me. I mean, it's, it's fucking fairy tales. Oh, the ugly troll has seized me under the bridge. Come and save me, hero. That's what they fucking do. And, and it's just, it's inherent in the sexual energies. So she, she talking shit about her boyfriend and calling him garbage, and, and you use that term also, don't get caught up with it, right? You, you want to leave him out of it as much as you can because she could potentially just be playing a fucking game, right? And we, we need to get that clear first. We need to figure out what, what, what she's up to, right? Because, you know, you don't know her that well. Say you've known her for a few years, but this sort of dance that you're doing with her is fairly new. Maybe a year, I think you said. Fine. Don't judge her boyfriend, because he might be a pretty cool fucking dude that she's tripping on right now, all right? So don't get caught up in that story. Don't let her drag you down that fairy tale of damsel in distress, come and save me, right? Because that tugs on your balls it tugs on your heart and your balls. It's very, it's very visceral, right? You don't think when you see a damsel in distress, a woman who's in distress, oh, right? You, you wanna save her right away. Don't be a fucking saver. Do not be her savior. Not saying that you can't move forward with her and I'm gonna give you very practical steps to see what that might look like. She, I'm sure she's a good girl. I'm sure she, things might turn out really well with you, but don't get caught up in her bullshit, right? Don't drink her Kool-Aid. So the situation is that you guys are, are, are growing closer and warming with one another. She has a boyfriend, talk shit about the boyfriend, neither here nor there. You wanna figure out how you can move forward with her, right? And this is how you do it without being a homewrecker, because I know that's your concern, as it should be. She hasn't, she hasn't fooled you so much to believe that like, you know, he's a douchebag and I'm gonna save her. Good, you're a smart guy. You gotta get out of that environment where you've got 20, 30 minute shots of each other passing, right? If that's all it's been, then you know what? You might not love her as much as you love that routine. See, there's a pattern and environments create patterns. There's a pattern of behavior. She comes in, you see each other, you smile, you talk, boom. You need to break that pattern to see what she's like in other circumstances. So in a very neutral way, Obviously we're pursuing, but you haven't done anything yet. You haven't professed your love. You're not trying to kiss her. You go and you meet somewhere else. Coffee, real neutral. Go for coffee, go for uh, you know, lunch, something. Definitely not dinner, lunch or coffee, or a walk in the park. We're just gonna go for a walk in the park. Right? Would you like to go for a walk? Not drinks after work, like Toby Keith would say. Ha! That, that sends all types of signals. Get her into a situation where you guys can see each other, speak to each other in a different light. Th something might happen. It could go one of two ways. You see her in this new light, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, I didn't know you were like that. Or you're going to be like, oh my God, I just love her that much more. Look at the way she is uh, with her dog. Or look at the way she is when she's pushing children on the swing. Oh, look at the way she sips coffee, whatever the fuck it is. You're gonna fall deeper in love with her, right? So now you've got a, a broader perspective of this woman, right? You need this. You need this in order to take the next step, okay? So that's, that's what you do. Then, this is, this is my invitation. This is my idea for you. 
if you decide after a few moments like that, you know, maybe two, three times that you're like, dude, I want this woman. I want her, I want her to be mine. Whatever that means to you, you want to be with her. You want to have her. And she's in this situation where she's said she's unhappy, but you've got to test that now, okay? And you've got to be very practical with her. You see, emotions sometimes, although you're in love, emotions have to be set aside to get shit done. And you're going to use emotion to manipulate her, wrong word, but to, to sway her, persuade her. But you're going to do it in a very practical way for yourself, just for your own understanding, and so that you could either go on with your life or you can get what you want. Either way, it's what you want. You want to go on with your life if she doesn't, uh, if she doesn't respond to this the way we'd like her to. Buy her something beautiful that she can wear, preferably a bracelet or a necklace, not a ring. <laughs> a beautiful bracelet, you know, or, 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 or a necklace. And you know what? Spend a little bit more on this because if she's not the right one, you'll get it back and you can always take it back to the fucking store. So if you gotta spend a thousand dollars or more, you know, do it. Think of it as sort of like a, a, you know, what do they do? Like a holding, you know, it's in holding. Insurance. Buy this beautiful diamond bracelet and say to her one day, I have something really important that I want to give to you, but only if you're willing to accept it. She's going to be all curious. Oh, what is it? Oh, of course, let me know. And you go and you open it up and you say to her, I want you to have this. And she's going to look at it and she's going to be like, oh my God, where did this come from? Oh, oh, I want you to have this, but only if you'll be mine. And you're basically giving her an ultimatum in a very heartfelt way because you want to share something beautiful with her. You want to share your love with her. But the, the, the piece of jewelry is just symbolic. That's all it is. It's just a symbol, you know. Obviously, the more beautiful it is, the more you know, dazzled she'll be. So it's kind of like an illusion, but it's symbolic. And you, and, and, you know, you let her put it on or whatever the case may be if she decides to at that moment. Hey, I just rewatched the video and um, I, I changed my mind. Don't give her the opportunity to put on the bracelet or not. Put it on her. Right? So whatever it is that you buy, don't, don't just open it and show it to her. Take it out and put it on her wrist or put it on her neck and then have the conversation. Because that's <laughs> what will happen is she'll embody your words that much more. She'll, it'll feel more because she'll, the whole time she'll be looking at it and feeling it on her. You want her to feel you. Do you understand? By putting the bracelet on her, she's going to feel what you're about to say about a, a lot more, okay? Cool. And you, you explain the conditions. You say, listen, I want you to have this, but I, I feel that you need to end it with your boyfriend. I know that you need to end it with your boyfriend if you're gonna continue moving forward with me. If you don't want to or you don't have the courage to break up with him, that's fine. I just need to know by you wearing this when she leaves, by you taking this with you, you're essentially saying that you'd like to move forward with me. If not, we can leave it here until you're ready, right? And, and there's a good chance she might say, oh, she might take it off or she might not put it on, wait till she's ready. Give her, and, and, and you gotta be kind of diplomatic with this, give her a set amount of time before she gives you the yes or the no, right? If she takes it at that moment, she's like, yes, I'm going home to break up with him. Oh, I love you. Mm, then you're good. Boom. But if she's like, she's stuck, right? She needs to either sack up, just fucking grow some balls, right? It sounds strange, right, for a woman. But she needs, to, she needs to toughen up and break up with her boyfriend that she doesn't love, if that's the case. Or she needs to come clean with you and say, you know, the truth is, I'm not breaking up with my boyfriend. I never will. I enjoy your company, it's been nice. And don't let her tease you any longer. Don't let, you, you don't wanna be caught up in that. You don't wanna be led any longer. And then it's over. But if she's standing on the fence, give her a little bit of time to stand on that fence. I wouldn't let it last any more than a week, you know? And you don't have to say it that way. You could just say, hey, you know what, next Saturday, why don't we meet here again and then you can tell me what you've decided. Right? It sounds a lot better than, you've got one week, bitch. <laughs> you know? You don't have to like, play your ultimatum. If she's not sure, just say, you know what, take your time. Why don't we meet back here next week? 
and we can, we can talk about it a little bit more. He gave her a week. If after a week it doesn't seem like anything's going to budge, then you need to basically take that back, get your money back, and just be peace with her. You know, when she comes in, just, you know what, talk, but you can't let your feelings go any further because you're just, you're, you're getting dragged along. You know, they call that pussy whipped. You don't want to be pussy whipped. She doesn't want you. She's playing with you. Don't get caught up in that. It's, it's ugly. Do you see? Ugly for you, ugly for her, ugly for the whole situation. Just move on. It's difficult. Elliot Hulse always says that you should move with your heart, move with your feelings, move. But you know what? Like I said, also today, sometimes you've got to use your fucking head in order to, to place boundaries so that you don't hurt yourself or other people. Right? You've done the best you could. You've got to cut it off. So that's it, dude. Good luck. I'm done.